Hello there, this is Krill Infinite and welcome to my first tutorial on how to create the TTC door chime sound using a Thor synthesizer. Now a lot of people have been asking us how did we create that sound, the distinctive sound of Toronto subway. Uh, we didn't record it, we actually used the Thor synthesizer. Uh, since it's um, not a hard patch to create and it's pretty basic. So let's go ahead and uh, recreate that sound. Um, here we got the reason, pretty basic setup. Uh, we got the mixer and the Thor synthesizer routed to channel 1. Uh, pretty basic. And let's go ahead and run the initial um, setup. So we're going to use the mono legato uh, because we're not going to be using chord mode. So mono legato, we'll use it by default and we're going to have zero polyphony. As for portamento setting, it's around 16 and we're going to do an auto mode. So that's it for the initial setup. And let's go ahead and start with an actual sound. So we're, let's go ahead and create um, analog oscillator. Uh, as you may have noticed, that sound is very distinct and it's mainly using a square wave. So we're going to select the square wave. It's actually created, um, selected by default. And we're going to base and shape our sound from from here. Now, um, right now it's not going to sound as close to the actual sound. Yeah, um, as you can see. So this is our bass, bass, bass sound. Uh, not the bass, but <laughs> the bass sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and tune the semi to 12. Then play around with a, with a pulse width. And we're going to have to open up the sound. So envelope amount, we're going to have to have a bigger envelope amount here. Okay, so let's keyboard. Okay, so okay, so we're getting closer, closer and closer. Okay, so pulse width. Oops, we got one twenty-five. Okay, so. That's it for the initial uh, oscillator setup. Let's run the phase uh, modulation oscillator. Now we're going to keep everything. I'm going to use the octave. Okay, so. Okay, good. Now uh, let's write it here. Okay, we're getting closer. Now here comes the little secret here. <laughs> we're gonna use um, a shaper and a saturator because the sound is mainly saturated. So let's saturate and let's run it at around maybe 29 to 30. Excellent. Uh, we're getting closer and closer. So let's gain it up a bit as we go along the, the signal chain. Okay, so all right, let's set up. No, it's actually modulation envelope. I don't need it. Let's set up a little delay to give it um, a bit space. So we don't want it to sound too wet here. Uh, let's set amount delay will be around here. Mm. Feedback around here, and then not a lot of time. So let's say around two sixteen. <coughs> Okay, that's better. That sounds a bit more realistic. And let's add a bit of chorus. Now, once again, a bit of feedback. Okay, so. Okay, so we're really close. Now, the filter envelope will be around here. Okay, so as for attack, I'm gonna around 25 milliseconds. Decay is around around here. Sustain, and then we need a bit of release. So, okay, 
Uh, it's a bit too much, so we'll remove it to 17. Okay, uh, a bit more. Okay, we're almost done. Now, uh, let's uh, run a little uh, distortion to make it sound more distinct, just like, you know, that um, rusty, rusty sound. So let's go ahead and create the distortion unit we're going to use the screen for. And for this particular patch, we're going to use the tube, um, the tube mode. Uh, damage control is going to be roughly at around 30, 34, I'd say. And then we need to cut the high frequencies because we got too main, too much of them in here. So then we're going to run the scale to about 96. And we'll let's keep the mode at B. Okay, so let's bypass it. As you can see, we made it a bit softer. That's about it. And now we can add maybe a little um, reverb effect uh, just to, you know, simulate that that sound when it's on, uh, in the subway train car inside. So just a bit more wet, and then decay is a bit more. So, and that's about it. Here's the, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come visit our website at kirillinfinite.com or ladydj.com, or might as well our blog blog.kirillinfinite.com or blog.ladydj.com. Thank you for watching.